Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy SNR and back into the video. Today in this video, I'll be teaching you guys all blur related features in more time. I'm also a Femora partner. <laughs> and this is also my last video as a Femora partner. No! Uh massive video coming June 4th. The day might change. But right now it's June 4th. Actually, as I'm editing this video, I have decided on June 5th, the uh, Saturday, because why not? So set your calendar. That doesn't make sense. Anyways, if you're new and interested, uh, you guys can try it out free in the description down below. Okay, let's get into it. Already, this video will be divided up into a few parts. Um, they'll be on screen right here, all the sections. Um, so yeah. So the first thing we're gonna be getting into is the simple blur. Um, so what you guys wanna do is go to effects. And in included, uh, you just guys wanna search blur. And these are all the blur effects uh, in Femora. Starting off with the basic blur, if you guys wanna drag that into your timeline, um, as you see, nothing has happened. That's because you have to drag your uh, video over a little bit and it's kind of like a background blur kind of thing. It's meant for videos like on phone or whatever, as you see here. Uh, so we're not gonna be diving too deep into this. If your video was nine by 16, like a phone ratio, as you see, there is blur here, um, like to fill in the rest of the space if someone was on computer. Um, but that's basically what it is. Next up, which is the main blur, if you guys wanna drag it into your timeline, it is basically just a blur. It changes kind of uh, quite a bit, but basically it, it just makes it look really blurred. If I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't know how to describe it, but you guys can see it right here. Uh, if I play it. This isn't a very popular blur effect. I don't use this like ever. I don't even know if I've used it once, um, but it's here. The next few blurs are very similar, so I'm gonna go over them quickly. Uh, if you drag them into your timeline, they're called uh, the bokeh. I think that's how you pronounce it. Basically, it's just some glow that comes up on your screen. Um, so this is orange and there's like a brighter orange and some red and stuff like that. But yeah, that's basically what it is. It doesn't really blur your screen. Um, it just basically, the orange stuff is blurry and that makes it like a kind of a cool effect, I'm not gonna lie. Next up, some similar to basic blur, we have blur bars. Um, if I make my video 9 by 16, you guys can see uh, it's just some blur bars that kind of like zoom in on the main thing. So this is what it looks like. So pretty cool. I would kind of stick with the basic blur because it kind of looks a bit weird, but it doesn't look that bad. All right, I'm going to get through these blurs uh, quickly as possible. The slant blur is very similar to basic blur. Um, it just kind of blurs in a different way. The bokeh blurs, a few of them, they're all really similar with their own glow patterns. Um, and then we get into these blur that I use the most out of all the blurs, which is square blur. Um, it is basically the main blur. It blurs the entire screen uh, the same. So if you want to double click on square blur, you can change the size. The standard is two, but if you were to move that, just say up to 100, you can't even see anything. It's uh, kind of hilarious. Um, but if you do something like one, it's slight blurs. Oop, that's zero. But yeah, uh, so like 26 is really hard to see as well. Um, but I would recommend it too, or somewhere like two to six or something like that. As if you mess with the alpha, it turns it down a little bit as well. Um, but this is the main blur, which I kind of use sometimes with text. Um, I blur out the background and have the text really stand out. So that's pretty cool. And lastly, which is blur two, um, I don't even have it downloaded. Uh, I think I've used it before on an old computer. It's, it's just less blurred basically, um, as you can see, it's like, if the blur was a one or something in the in the square blur. But yeah, pretty cool. All right, moving on to the juicy stuff. We're gonna be talking about uh, mosaic. If that's even how you pronounce it, holy. Mosaic. It is, poggers. So mosaic is a kind of utility in. So mosaic is a utility inside Femora that is so awesome. Uh, it, it is in effects, and if you go, go down and click this little arrow here and include it, you can see utility. And in the utility, there are a few options, um, but mosaic is what we're gonna be talking about today. Uh, mosaic is a absolute life changer. It blurs out, it's basically a square blur that you can move around and put it on wherever you want. Um, if there's a license plate or something private in your video and you don't want it, I've used this in so many videos. Yeah, it's probably the most popular I've used. So basically, um, if you wanna double click on mosaic, there are a few different types. So this is the most common one, which is just spreads it kind of like across, which I use a lot. It blurs like writing and stuff like that pretty well. But there's also a few other different types, which is this is upside down. This is more pixely. 
This is more kind of fuzzy looking. This is a bit more less strands, I would say. Uh, the less strands up and down. And I don't even know what this is. Um, you can also change the blur amount. So as you see, if I were to put this right over the character, you can't even tell it's there. You literally can't even tell. And if the lower I go, the more you can tell that there's something there. Now you can see kind of the, you can see the outline of the shotgun and stuff like that. Um, and you know, zero is nothing there. Um, and then it's slowly going up. So it blurs it more. So the default is 50, which I feel like is perfect. It's you know good for writing and stuff like that where you can't even tell what's there. You can also change the opacity, which change the changes the opacity. Um, I'm gonna keep that at 100, which is very cool. So yeah, there's as I said, there's many different types. So like I've like I don't think I've ever used this. This is very cool. So you can see the normal down here, and yeah, if I were to hire this up, oh okay, that's a big change. That is cool. I do this pixel one. The pixel one looks really cool as I put it over. You can still see something's here. It's just more pixely. This is very cool if I were to change it up a little bit. Oh yeah, more pixels. And then I think it goes down to just a few. Yeah, there's one, I'm not counting them, but you can probably count out the pixels versus if I go lower. You can't really count that, it's a lot of pixels. There's also ones that have less like lines in them. So this, you can clearly tell the object behind it. So this is probably not good for covering up private information. Um, but you could also hire the blur amount, which doesn't really do anything for this one. Wow. So yeah, I would stick with the normal one or the pixel one. This one looks more cleaner though. The pixel one kind of just looks like you're playing a video game from the 1980s. Alrighty, something that is very cool uh, that you can do and for more that I've used a few times is you can actually motion track uh, your uh, mosaic, which is really cool. I've done a, a few mo motion tracking videos on this channel, so if you want to check them out, uh, and learn motion tracking better than what I'm going to teach you here today. I would recommend that, but I'm going to briefly, you know, explain how to do this. So, all right, so I have a Fortnite clip here, and you see this character. It shows up for a few moments, but as it looks, it, the character does move on the angle. So what I'm going to do is motion track the character. So to motion track, you want to double click. I'm going to move this out of the way. Uh, double click on the clip and go to motion tracking, make sure that's enabled and make sure I'm gonna go to the first frame where the character is there. So that would be, yeah, I'm gonna get it real good. So right there, uh, I'm gonna get it right around it. You want it as tight as possible, like that, perfect. You wanna click start tracking um, and it obviously disappears, but that's all right, we can cut that. So when, it dies so I'd say when the it loses color like so right there I'm going to split this um, and get rid of motion tracking on that but all right so now we got this this perfectly tracked character right here what you want to do is double click on the clip and go to here and click mosaic um, and line up the mosaic with it already after a little bit of fiddling around this is what we have here Perfect. So what it does um, when the character comes up, it goes there. And as the screen moves and the character moves, it fully tracks it and goes away like that. So yeah, guys, that's basically everything blur related. Um, and for more, if you guys did enjoy or helped you out, uh, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, like I said, this is my last for more video as a for more partner, but there will be a huge video um, and announcement coming soon. As of right now, I'm planning it to be up on the channel June 4th, but that can easily change. Yeah, it did change. It changed to June 5th. So, you know, follow me on Twitter. Uh, you know, that'll be very epic. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, yeah, and see you guys later. Peace.